Hey folks, Norma and I decided to take a trip to River Rocks Landing. We stayed a week here. It's right on the Coosa River, five miles from I-59 in Gadsden, Alabama. It's a beautiful little resort, very well maintained. Uh, we were escorted from the check-in site to our campsite. We stayed on site number two. Come with us and let me show you around the place. I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. We borrowed an image from their website to show you a map of the layout of the River Rocks Landing Campground. When you pull in, you're going to be stopped at the guard shack. Uh, you go in to check in, and they assign a golf cart driver to take you to your site. You get a pass key, not a pass code. You don't type anything in. You just hold the key up to the uh, machine there and the gate comes up. That keeps people from just giving their key code number to whoever wants to come in. Here we are at the Coosa River. And the campground is River Rocks Landing. It's in Gaston, Alabama. It's about five miles from Interstate 59. If you're going north to south, south to north, headed towards Birmingham or uh, Knoxville, I guess. Uh, I-59 has a branch off 759, which also uh, brings you right to this campground. You can see the interstate. That's 759. Obviously, we're facing west here. It's time for the sun to set. There's a, uh, I think they said a two mile walking trail, which we're on here, that walks around the uh, RV park. They have boats, jet skis, pontoon boats and jet skis for rent. Uh, as you would expect, that's not cheap, but would be fun. Uh, they have nice little swings to sit in and an event house. Uh, they were nice enough to bring us out and show us the property. They have two pools that are side by side at the front office so you can actually get to the pools without having to come into the park. A couple of kayakers out there. has an awesome playground for the kids to play on. I wish we had our grandbabies here this week where they could be playing on the playground. They would really love it. And right next to the playground for the older kids 
There's a basketball court. A little splash pad here for the kiddos to play in. And there's one of the pools. There's two of the pools. And there's the third pool. The third pool appears to be an infinity pool. So when you're swimming, you have the illusion that you're swimming in the Coosa River. Good morning. Good morning. We're enjoying ourselves at River Rocks Landing in Gadsden, Alabama. We've had lots of good stuff to eat this week. We've eaten at Red, uh, lobster, Red Lobster, Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme, Texas uh, Roadhouse, Krispy Kreme, Chick Fil A, and Krispy Kreme. And there's a mall right across the road, so we were able to walk around there. They've yeah. got a fitness room here. We'll tell you some more facts and figures about the campground. Also, while we've been here, Wayne dropped the phone. He broke the front of his cell phone and the camera part of his cell phone. So we went to the Verizon store, but he will be getting a phone tomorrow. So... Uh, yeah, for $199, you mm -hmm. can use your insurance and you have to send an affidavit with a valid license or passport to the insurance company to prove to them that you are who you say you are. Yep. That's but better than $1,200 for a new phone, I guess. That is true. But today we have plans to go to Nakalula Falls. It's been years and years since we've been there, so kind of excited about that. See what kind of changes they've made and... The falls should be beautiful this time of year because of all the rain we've had. So we're looking forward to that. Let's talk about the campground. The Verizon signal is good. We've been able to stream Netflix. We've been able to work, upload, download videos. So Verizon is good. They have a Wi-Fi, but in site number two, the signal to that Wi-Fi is not real good. Plus, I don't necessarily trust the security of a campground uh, Wi-Fi anyway. But if you needed that, it is there. We decided to stay a whole week instead of just the four nights, I guess it was. So the total cost was $280, I think, or two, it was two seventy nine twenty. So it ended up being thirty nine ninety a night. Um, that was taxes and everything. So math whiz over here <laughs> keeps up with every penny. Anyway, we, we've we've spent a whole lot more for a whole lot less, to be honest with you. This is a very nice campground, and for us, it's a local place about an hour away from our sticks and bricks. You're not that close to your neighbors that you can't put your own and out and feel like you have your own private space. There's a little bit of landscaping between each spot. Uh, so now, the ones closer to the lake, they do have shade trees over there. That's true. That's a mm -hmm. good point. There's like an L-shaped design, if you saw the map at the the, the beginning there's there's a group of rows for everybody gets pulled through and then there's another little peninsula that sticks out all the campers in that peninsula back up right to the water so they have a fantastic view plus Trace. really good shade so those would be the preferable ones but she said those are really hard to come by so don't wait till the day before you're going to come before you make your reservations like we did yeah <laughs> Hopefully we've shared enough information with you to give you some idea. This will be a wonderful pass-through spot to spend a couple of nights if you're just passing through on the interstate. For us, we spent a week here and we've enjoyed every minute of it. Cable TV included in the price. The Wi-Fi is good. Verizon's good. Uh, the Wi-Fi at our spot was a little weak, so you, you could connect and browse and do email. You couldn't stream or anything like that. So I used my Verizon hotspot, and uh, we did fine. If we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye, guys.